pilot. It'll put you into LDS once we get out of this LDSI field. Alright. Um, we're out of the LDSI field, so let's just hit the autopilot. Spin up our drives Good. and we've go. We've cleared the LDSI field and we've entered LDS. The HUD lines have turned green to indicate this. You can see the distance to our target on the HUD by the reticle in the center of the screen. See, I love this. You just, you know, fly from where you are to where you're going. And you get to see uh, space in between. I think more than any other game okay, I've ever this played, it. this really it's feels like space. It's not too far from our final destination now, Lucretia's base. It's an old converted biobomber tucked away inside a field of charged particles and asteroids known as the Afrit. If you go to the star map again, you can select it and head towards it. Alright, so Lucretia's base. Presumably it belongs to somebody known as Lucretia. I can't remember how we get there though. Select Efreet. Oops. Um, yes, that would help. Efreet. Petra. Timbuk2. Griffin. Samarkand. Um, zoom out. Ah, yes. The Efreet. Okay, let's go. Let's go there. The only downside to the seamless LDS space in the game is that traveling can take a while once you're uh, moving uh, larger distances than this. We'll see, I might skip some We're flying here. around later. This is the edge but for of now, the um, I'm afraid I don't clear. know the exact location of the base, Plus it's pretty. and it's hard to navigate with all this interference. However, there's a route through if we follow the marked asteroids. I'll point them out as I spot them. You fly to each asteroid. That helps me locate the next one. I'm bringing up the first waypoint now. Alright. Waypoint one. Let's go. Let's turn off the flight assist and... What? Autopilot off? Yes. Autopilot off. There we go. So, with my knowledge of how space works, Actually, it's still really far away, so it'll just use the LDS. I was gonna be clever, but no dice. As we approach waypoint one, uh, slow down, and presumably Clay will find our next waypoint. The Ville de Vie. Ville de Vienna. Aha. It's a ship. Okay, now we're out of LDS. So, autopilot off, flight assist, disengage. And that's away from the waypoint? Oh, right. We were targeting that guy. Da -da -da. There's the waypoint. Beautiful. Found the next one. And we've got our next waypoint. Let's go. The beginning of this game is quite slow. I don't know how it's paced later on. I assume it continues to be kind of slow, except it won't be blindly following a tutorial. So it will feel less so. Oops. Disengage flight. Ah, disengage autopilot, then disengage the flight assist. And fly towards it. Begin slowing around once we're about halfway there. Slow down again. And we should land right on the waypoint. Found the next one. And it's in the same direction. See, I don't understand how he can see asteroids that are hundreds of thousands of kilometers away. Uh, but he is an AI construct, so he is better than man. Uh, 
think this is the last one before we get to actually go uh, where we're going. But we'll see. Da -da -de. There's the waypoint. And we're there. Cutscene. like a good iris docking door. It's a uh, pretty heavy duty docking. And the second iris opens for us and we're home. I think this is what we will call home for the rest of the game. But I don't really know because I haven't played the game. It's real dark in here, Clay. Are you sure everything's working? Hmm. The base must be running on emergency power. See that diagnostic screen over there? What's it say? It says, fuel rod malfunction. Is that bad? Smart kid. Yeah, it's bad. To get this place back online, we're going to need a whole new set of fuel rods. This is the nerve center of your grandma's base. From here, you can access every area and system. Or you could if everything was working. Some functions seem okay. Try looking at the hangar. Well, welcome home. Home is, of course, our uh, grandmother Lucretia's uh, old pirate base. She seems like she was kind of a wild woman. Um, however, before we do what Clay says, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm aiming for about 20 minute episodes, I think that's a nice little length, um, but I'm going to end it and I'll see you next time.